So let's walk through how a TX valve works. Inside here is refrigerant. When you squeeze this, you heat this up. Remember, with refrigerant, you increase the temperature, you increase the pressure. So I'm heating it up, which is sending pressure down around here, which pushes on the diaphragm, which is pushing on a pin, which is an opening force, so it opens up. When this starts to cool off, <sighs> cools off, less pressure pushing on that pin, and it's, it's gonna close up, so it's not gonna let as much refrigerant through. Here's my liquid line. There's a screen right here. This screen can get plugged if you do not braze with inert gas or nitrogen. You need to be brazing with that so you don't plug up this screen because that can be, get blocked and then you're going to starve the evaporator. Right down here is your adjustment fan. And not all TXL have adjustments in. So how does this work? If I turn it in clockwise, so I spin it in, it pushes on a spring to push against the diaphragm. So that pin has to fight harder. So when I'm putting heat on this, it has to fight harder to open up the feed through. If I do counterclockwise, it's going to be less. It's going to need less pressure to push on this diaphragm to open up to let refrigerant through to the evaporator. And this is an external equalizer, not all valves have an external equalizer but you'll see this in refrigeration application anytime a uh, evaporator has a distributor where it has multiple tube feeding into the evaporator you need this because this goes past the bulb past the bulb so it measures the pressure there so it gives it a good idea of how much it's feeding 